Hot on the line for Green and Local Schools. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Holly Samuels live with a look at what that district will look like if an emergency levy fails in November. Mark, the levy facing voters in November is seven mills, and it could make up for a budget deficit that next year is expected to be around $1.5 million. Green and local school district leaders present two options to a packed media room at Indian Valley School. Neither is a pretty picture, but the district says there'll be reality if its seven mil levy fails in November. We are looking at some pretty drastic reductions. One of the options includes cutting all extracurriculars, realigning the school buildings, cutting back on busing, and eliminating 16 positions throughout the district. The second keeps varsity sports and marching band, but only on a pay-to-play basis, and school officials say the cost of pay to play would be in the hundreds of dollars per student per sport after school activities get no state or federal dollars. For extracurriculars there is no funding. Um, you don't get anything. Um, for the, you don't get the first dollar for the first coach. All the cuts add up to about one and a half million dollars out of a budget that's already been slashed by about a million dollars over the last two months. And it's hard to go to our neighbors and ask for money but it's uh, been proven and our treasurer Ryan has done a great great job of showing that we are doing an excellent job with the monies that we have been given and our school is well worth the investment, our students are well worth the investment. Green and local schools has not sought any new money since 1996 and with state funding decreasing, leaders say there is no other option. If you're continuing to receiving the same revenue stream while your costs are increasing, simple mathematics tells you that over time you're going to start to have a cash flow problem. Well, district leaders are looking for input from the community on what was presented tonight. It's holding a meeting September 29th at 7 p.m. That will be held in the high school. Now, the levy again will be on the ballot November 2nd, but keep in mind you only have a few more days to register to vote if you haven't already registered. Reporting live in Enon, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.